The Life and Sad Ending of Edward Herman Edward Kirk Herman was born July 21, 1943, in Washington, D.C., the son of Jean Eleanor and John Anthony Herman, of German and Irish descent. Herman grew up in Gross Point, Michigan, and graduated from Bucknell University. In 1965, where he was a member of Phi Kappa Psi, he studied acting at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art on a Fulbright Fellowship. Herman began his career in theater. One of his first professional productions he appeared in was the U.S. premiere of Michael Weller's Moon Children at the Arena Stage in Washington, D.C., November 1971. He moved with the show to New York City to make his Broadway debut the following year. Herman returned to Broadway in 1976 to portray Frank Gardner in the revival of Mrs. Warren's Profession. For his performance, he won a Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a Play. Then, a breakthrough in his career. Herman was known for his portrayal of Franklin D. Roosevelt in the made-for-television movies Eleanor and Franklin in 1976 and Eleanor and Franklin, The White House Years, 1977, both of which earned him Best Actor Emmy Award nominations, as well as in the first feature film adaptation of the Broadway musical Annie, 1982. In 1980, Herman also starred in an episode of M.A.S.H. as an army searcher, surgeon suffering from PTSD. Also, he played Max in the 1987 movie The Lost Boys. He was nominated for a Tony Award for Plenty in 1983 and Emmy Awards in 1986 and 87 for two guest starring appearances as Father Joseph McCabe in St. Elsewhere. In 1984, Herman played Alger Hiss in the public broadcasting service docudrama Concealed Enemies. In the 1990s, Herman appeared in the 1994 television film Don't Drink the Water. In smaller roles, veteran character actors Austin Pendleton, Joseph Summer, and Edward Herman nail their lines like the seasoned pros they are. Herman portrayed Herman Munster in the Fox made-for-television film Here Come to the Munsters, which aired on Halloween in 1995. Next, Herman earned an Emmy in 1999 for his guest appearances on The Practice. Also in 1999, Herman appeared as President Felwick in the television miniseries Atomic Train. In the 2000s, Herman played Norman, a strikingly old intern, on ABC's Grey's Anatomy. From 2000 to 2007, he portrayed Richard Gilmore on Warner Brothers' Gilmore Girls. In October 2013, Herman made an appearance on How I Met Your Mother in the episode Night Vision, playing a reverend. In addition to his television career, Herman also made quite a successful film career. Herman's film career began in the mid-1970s, playing supporting roles including Robert Redford's partner in The Great Waldo Pepper a law student in The Paper Chase, an idle piano-playing clipspringer in The Great Gatsby, and opposite Laurence Olivier in The Betsy, 1978. He again portrayed President Roosevelt in Annie. Herman played the lead in the 1979 Keith Merrill movie Takedown in the role of the high school English teacher turned wrestling coach. Among Herman's better-known roles is the title character in another Keith Merrill film, Harry's War, released in 1981. The philandering husband of Goldie Hawn's character in Overboard, Reverend Michael Hill in Disney's The North Avenue Irregulars, one of the characters in the film within a film in Woody Allen's The Purple Rose of Cairo, and as Max, the mild-mannered head vampire in The Lost Boys. In 1993, Herman appeared in Born Yesterday. He was offered praise for the role, 
Vincent Canby, citing him as one of the four actors heading the excellent supporting cast. And Malcolm Johnson writing Herman and Fred Dalton Thompson had the most convincing performances. Herman appeared in the following year's Foreign Student, released on July 29, 1994. Kevin Thomas commented, Edward Herman, so often a fine actor, emerges as a caricature of the tweedy pipe-smoking professor. Herman portrayed Nelson Rock Rockefeller in the 1995 film Nixon. He appeared in the 1998 film Better Living, a priest who becomes a family counselor. Oliver Jones wrote that Herman was in a rare comic form in the role. In 2011, Herman appeared in Bucky Larson, Born to be a Star, playing a father whose son discovers his previous career. In 2012, Herman appeared in Treasure Buddies, portraying the film's antagonist. The following year, Herman had a small role as a doctor in Are You Here? His final appearance in a film was in The Town That Dreaded Sundown, released October 2014. In his personal life, Herman came from a prominent Unitarian family based in Gross Point, Michigan. He became a Roman Catholic as an adult. Herman was married twice and had two daughters, Rian and Emma. In 1978, he married his longtime girlfriend, screenwriter Leigh Curran. The marriage ended in 1992. Prior to his second marriage, Herman's future second wife, Star Roman, filed a paternity suit against him after he fathered a child with her while filming Harry's War, 1981. Roman and Herman eventually married, and the union lasted from 1994 until his death. Herman had one stepson, Rory Herman, star Roman's son from a previous relationship. Sadly, Herman died on December 31, 2014, at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center Hospital of Brain Cancer, the age of 71. He was cremated, and his ashes buried near his home in Sharon, Connecticut.